Hey there, future guitar players. It's Sven here for another edition of the Amish School of Rock. And what I'm going to talk to you about tonight, once again, doesn't involve playing any guitars. And we probably hold the record for the most guitar lessons where you don't actually learn to play anything. But it's very important. In the last video, we learned what kind of acoustic guitar to buy and hopefully you've gone out there and spent some money to get a decent acoustic guitar. But before you leave the shop, or before you start playing, we're going to need some more stuff. So let me talk to you about that right now. Uh, first of all, you need a decent guitar strap. And uh, the reason for the guitar strap is not so much for playing uh, standing up, but it's to make sure that when you're playing, you're always keeping the guitar in a consistent spot. So a guitar strap is actually very, very important when you learn to play and when you play professionally. My preference is actually a cloth strap for an acoustic style guitar and a leather strap for electric, but uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you like the strap. Uh, that's great. Also, it's kind of a fun accessory because you can really um, have some fun with different colors and stuff and that makes your guitar look cool and you're more likely to play and practice. Um, next, we're going to talk about tuners and this is probably one of the most important things you'll buy uh, as an accessory. This guy here is called a neck mounted tuner and they did not exist when I learned how to play and uh, they are fantastic because what they do is keep your guitar in tune very simply. Uh, they mount on the neck of the guitar and they pick up the vibrations from uh, your strings which means you can actually tune up your guitar in a very very loud room. Uh, my preference is to buy what's called the IntelliTouch P10. IntelliTouch P10. Uh, there's also one by Snark, but for some reason I think this guy actually is a bit more accurate. Um, I just like the way that it um, kind of settles on a note. Um, by the way, if you've got the money, this, these things cost about $35 US. Um, you might want to buy two because what's going to happen is as you play, you're going to leave one in your gig bag or leave it in a, a pocket you're going to forget where it is and when you actually need it, it's going to be lost. So uh, I always have two. I keep one in a gig bag, one in my guitar case, and um, they're always around. Um, something else to think about is a, uh, a tuner for your iPhone or iPad or Android device. Those are great. Uh, there's all kinds, kinds of great free and uh, paid tuners you can get for your smartphones. Um, but I recommend the neck mounted tuner whether or not you've got that or not. Um, and we'll talk about tuners in the next lesson. We're actually going to spend uh, the next lesson tuning up your guitar. Um, very very important plane is what is called a plectrum also known as a pick. And believe it or not the pick is very very important in your playing style and your playing ability because they come in all shapes and sizes. So when you're going back to the guitar store, I actually recommend that you buy uh, big picks, small picks, uh, thin picks, very thin picks, and maybe some fatter picks. And in this day and age, you actually got picks that have um, some ridges which make them easier to grip. Buy a couple of those. These things are cheap. You can experiment. Um, there's actually some oversized picks which are maybe uh, this big, um, about the size of half of an index card. And those guys are, are good too, and I'll explain why in probably the next lesson or two. Um, so buy lots and lots of picks. They're inexpensive. Uh, one thing not to get though is um, what's called a thumb mounted pick. Because I made the mistake years and years ago when I was playing. I, I was having problems with the pick. It would fly out of my hand. And I realized that, um, hey, if I could stick this thing on my thumb, maybe I could pick. But the, uh, the thumb mounted pick is actually for finger style guitar, which we will actually get to someday but uh, it is not a strumming pick, so don't get that. Um, you're going to be breaking strings as a new guitar player. So pick up some uh, packs of strings. What I recommend is probably Martin or Daddario strings. These guys are, I believe, medium gauge. But as a new guitar player, you're going to want to play light gauge guitar strings. So Martin or Daddario light gauge. Um, you can also get what's called coated strings, and you can ask the guy or gal at the guitar shop what kind of strings they think, but coated strings will last longer. Uh, strings tend to corrode, and after a while they don't sound as bright. 
Um, the trade-off is the coda strings don't sound quite as, uh, as loud, but they last longer and don't have to be changed as frequently. So probably a good idea to get coated strings, light gauge, or extra light gauge. Um, next accessory. This is, um, uh, oh, by the way, I should mention prices too. Um, tuners, probably, as I said, about 35 US. Um, again, if you've got the money, buy two. Strings, these guys are, are cheap, usually about 10 to $15, depending on the quality and the brand. Um, Next thing we should buy is uh, a string winder. The good news is this thing costs about two bucks. And I would again buy three or four of these things because they, they disappear at the dark when you're playing someplace and they're very, very handy to have. They help you wind your guitar, uh, put strings on very quickly. Uh, back in the Stone Age, it took forever to uh, restring a guitar, but these things are fantastic to have. So buy a few of these. Next we've got what is called a capo. And a capo is used to change the sound of your guitar. Um, basically, you can play songs in what's called a different key. Uh, we will touch on that very, very soon, but um, you want what's called a spring-mounted capo. And again, if you're going to spend the money, go ahead and get two. And that's for two reasons. Number one, they again disappear in the dark, in your gig bag, or uh, someplace where you're playing. And also, you might have a friend who shows up and they're playing also and you're playing a song in a different key and they forgot their capo. So it's very handy to have spares of these also. Uh, by the way, for anything that's battery operated, um, especially your tuner, make sure you buy extra batteries because these things, um, you leave them on, sometimes they don't have auto turn off and the battery will die and it's always at the worst possible time. So these things, check the voltage, usually it's 2.5 or 3 volts and buy 4 or 5 of those, keep them in your gig bag. Um, wire cutters are useful to have as you change strings. Uh, you don't have to have them, but it actually makes the, the process a lot quicker. Um, now we're getting to uh, probably less essential accessories. Uh, over here I've got what is called a uh, music stand uh, for putting sheet music on. And the good news is we're not going to have to worry too much about sheet music because the way I want to teach you is not going to involve reading actual music. It'll be something called guitar tabulature. tabulature. But um, you will need a music stand. And the one I recommend is built by a company called Proline. And this guy is a really heavy son of a gun. It's like a Humvee of music stands. Um, but a lot of times you'll have a guitar book, like a, what's called a chord book. And these things are very, very heavy. If you buy yourself a violin stand or something like that, uh, it's going to tip over, it's going to crumple and not hold up uh, your music. So definitely get yourself an industrial size music stand, preferably from Proline. Um, we are now just two lessons away from playing our first song, which is great news. So at this rate, let's see, um, I've been doing one lesson every week or so. Um, either we'll be done in a week or never. So. Optimistically, we'll have you playing a week from today, um, unless I get hit by a bus. So, I uh, just want to say thanks to everyone on Twitter with all the, the fun comments. Um, it's been a blast. Lots of funny, funny people out there, uh, much funnier than me. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Uh, this is my Twitter account. It's at Amish School. Uh, it's actually pronounced Amish. But uh, for the sake of remembrance, it is Amish school. And um, that is it for tonight. Uh, guitar accessories. Next lesson will be on how to tune up, which will be uh, getting very, very close to playing. And right after that is our very first song. So hope you folks have a great night or day, wherever it is you're watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.